and welcome to a new tutorial. Um, today I'm showing you how to make a river animated as you see. And yeah, this is just with modifiers. I don't wanna cover the area around it, so just reason that. Um, this yeah. This would be too long, and I just want to show you the water um, because this was um, this was a question if I make can make one under a threat of Blender artist, so you can wrap me some tutorial wishes if you want, also under the YouTube video. But somebody the mic. Mike L007 asked me to make a tutorial about um, water or ex especially a river or a sea or lake and I decided to make a river because <coughs> it's more complicated I think to make than as like um, for example a C or something like this because a C is just a flat surface but the river has some curves and bending and so and yeah it's a little bit more complicated not complicated but more difficult so I make a new file and delete the default cube. Then we can add a plane and add the ocean modifier. Maybe you know about this modifier already, but I think you just made some ocean and not a river or something like this. So, um, I added the keyframe to the time value and got the last frame and set this to about 20, for example. This should move nice and slow. But that's really fast. And that's because in the graph editor the curve slows uh started really slow, gets faster and goes really slow. So select all keyframes with A and T and linear. And now I think that's too fast. So now, yeah, that's nice and slow. I think for a river it shouldn't be too fast. Yeah, click in the X direction on repeat. It depends how long your your river should be, but are you how long? How long you wanna have it? But I just click. I uh, I just choose six because yeah, the river don't have to be too long. So scale it on the. As I added a Bezier curve, go into edit mode and scale it on the y direction to zero and scale it a little bit. Move this point to about here and then subdivide it two times. Then you can add a curve modifier, select our curve. You see it um, moved slightly and you can deform our river with the curve. Um, let's see. 
we can turn the normals off. So add a little bit of bending here a bit. Let's move it out as well as here. And you see the, uh, the waves are too big, something like an ocean, but we want to have a river. So set this to about 0.5. So it's just a little bit. So I will set this a little bit bigger so you see the effect. Um, Put the alignment a little bit higher until it gets this um, kind of look so it goes in this direction and then put it back down to 0.5 and it looks like a river that goes from here to here. So the water follows. Or the water, yeah, not follow, but um, the water goes in this direction. You can play with these settings, but I will leave them as they are. No, yeah. Um, I had a idea, maybe. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can, if you wanna do this, you can scale your yeah, river, but I will leave it as it is. Yeah, that's the basic water setup. Position the camera and put the clipping blue up. Oh, my oh, they are on. And just position your camera, and we can add a material. But first, we have to add a sky. You can also use a hard re image. Let's see. A string of two and just play with these settings. Yeah, I think that work. So get the must be blue sky. Um, yes, a material. <coughs> uh, in my final scene here, I added also a sun lamp, but I don't think we need one in this scene here. Not added a scroll in or zoom in and add. Uh, where is it? Classy shader, duplicate it, and a mix shader, and a fresno mode, and also an emission shader. Where is it? Here. <coughs> um, plug this into the surface, and this one here, and now you can see the output of this node. So I will set this something about 1. So we get a little bit white um, on the back of the waves. We can delete the emission shader now and connect our um, real water shader this and this.
put the roughness to zero and the second one no the first one nope it was the second one and the second one gets a nice dark blue play a little bit with that and this can put a little bit of blue too uh, that's too much let's see yeah it works and this is our water shader of course it looks better when you get some reflections of trees and all that stuff and also the wall but as I said the main topic of this tutorial is the water <coughs> yeah anything else I don't think so so let's see maybe to material Wow, we really see this blue color. That's cool. Yeah. Does this really support the colors? Wow. I didn't know that. So. Yeah, and this is our river. You can add a area around it and trees and I don't know, a street or something like that. And yeah, and feel free to um, post something in the comments. Um, did you like it or your results um, with the water or the river? I'm really interested to see this, um, this and yeah, maybe ask some questions about some things you didn't, uh, did not know or you don't know in Panda. And yeah, bye.